episode 12. Oh my god. If her age is on the clock, she can ride on my- Whoa! Let's stop talking about that. What's up going on, guys? Mr. Suicide is today's 12th guest of account reviews. Um, okay, before we start, though, I want to say <laughs> I've been kind of- I won't lie. A lot of these reviews have been pretty much the same thing for me, m most likely. I'm going to change my format up probably going into the next season or whatever, we, we, whatever you want to call it, um, for account reviews. But I have probably um, about six, maybe like two months worth of account reviews left. But once these are all over with, I'm going to change up the format because I want to mix things up a bit. People show me some of the stuff they wanted to show, etc., etc. So I'm going to change that up. Until then, though, um, it's not that I don't like doing this. I love doing this. It's just I when I see the same, when I show you guys see the same thing on paper, I thought it was going to be good. But when everyone shows me the exact same like ship gear and the other stuff, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to work on proving that. Anyways, let's get right into it. So this person wrote some uh, wrote some stuff in their Imgur album. Thank Lord. Makes things a lot easier. Hello, I'm from EN Sandy servers. The following as of January 25 of 2021, 20, uh, which is about six weeks ago, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. So, again, another end game player account. A lot of 120s here. A lot, a lot of 120s here. Uh, regarding lacking of shows, I'm like, uh... Regarding the lack of ships locking, I'm not bound by such weaknesses. The only ship I accidentally was higher. I mean, <laughs> wait, Nor? Oh, no, not Nor. Hey, if you want to do whatever, uh, go for it. Uh, it's based off of... Oh, there's some history here. Now, I'm not a big fan of history, but if you guys like this... Interesting. Pure 86. Didn't know that. There's a lot of names here. There's a lot of names here. Um, I'm not going to question any of these names. You can name them however you want. Uh, use, uh, the following, I currently use 120 shifts in the following. I've already signed up PvP, 12-4 boss fleet. That's pretty much what I use them for as well. Pretty much the same things, and then, like, yeah, pretty much the same thing. I don't use it for anything else, honestly. Maybe, like, if I'm on a rush or something, but pretty much that's it. Um, the money of soul and the possibility control. What? That sounds like some kind of persona catchphrase right here. The money of soul and the possibility of control. Yo, any persona fans in the chat? Let's go. <laughs> it literally sounds like persona stuff. Um Economic Inspired Anime. I know the one that was called like what was it the money the money is everything? It was like C C six or something. I don't remember. It was like it was like a it was an anime about money. It was like C six, I think. I can't remember exactly what it was. I'll probably like write it down somewhere. M money is everything. I don't I don't know. I forgot how it went, but something like that though. Um, I think that's I don't, I don't know what anime. Someone could probably tell me in chat though, unless I write it down. Um, runes all names based on a character from Helsing. Nice. Never watched Helsing, but a lot of people said um a lot of interesting things about it. So there is that. That's that's Prince. I'm dumb. Um, Rune. I'm also blind as well. <clears throat> Where's Rune at? I don't even see Rune here. No, right, the major. Okay, there we go. I'm dumb. I'm actually dumb and I'm blind. All right, more updates here. Wait, part four. Okay, this is very organized, by the way. I won't lie. A lot of very, 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 very organized. Uh, Stuck in uh, 100, yep, because money sinks and cog chips, whichever you're, uh, whichever you're lacking. It's usually what the thing that gate keeps most people. Usually it's money, though, so, um, yeah, pretty much <laughs> money. Sirius is 99, whoa, uh, do you have a second one? Oh, whoa, hey, maybe we'll get there, maybe we'll get there. <clears throat> maybe we'll get there. Um, six three nine nine grind. I would set up Microsoft requirements. Blah, blah. Oh Lord! Hey, whatever works. I usually get ninety affection two through secretary, but only for Vanguard still, because Vanguard takes forever to get um the hundred affinity because they don't get uh MVP a lot, so. That's what it. Uh, it is what it is. There, 
You just have some other name. I love the. This is because. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm saying more fleet because it's five minutes. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> most of the time, second. I thought you could need a second uh, mob fleet, like, not mob fleet as well. But because I only use one nowadays because Percy is so broken. Um, yeah. So, per Perseus is pretty broken. <laughs> I won't lie. She will make OS a lot, lot easier. I'm not even kidding. You'll save a lot of money from uh, healing and whatnot. Very, very good. And I'll be done retrofitting. Most of it is not a little sunny. They are either brought up by diamond. Uh, there's a lot of good ships in here that you can work on. But seeming as you're the kind of player who wants to do whatever they want, good luck. I would give some suggestions, but I think you're confident in what you want to work on. So I'm not going to question that. I am not going to question that. Oh, this Imgur album is very, very long, by the way, guys. Abnormally long. Um, because I want to run... Uh, these are the let me leave the limit breaking one now. Okay, I'm going to skip these. These are limit breaking. Now, gear. Uh, <clears throat> my bad. Um, I like to get duplicates of gear so that I am not lacking them. Currently, all of the all my 120 ships and ships I'm currently running on is so that... It's so that if that I can, uh, if, it's so that I can drag any of these ships into battle without worry, I, and I won't need to remember which gear I switch between ships. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly why I want more of them. Otherwise, it gets confusing because of my um, base will be on the. Uh, I can attain healthy blah, 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 by contrast uh, purple. I mean, whatever works. I mean that that does work. Don't get me wrong. I usually get like a good mixture of everything though. So like. The best in slot gear stays on like the it's on it stays on the content I use the most of so like OS stuff basically my OS gear stays on OS ships if I want to work on like say another battleship and they need an AP gun I'm not gonna give them the AP MK6 I'll give them some other AP gun or whatever for leveling up with or I'm gonna forget and that's gonna be annoying um good amount of everything I didn't look at the thing right here but I assume everything is good here um. I see hell divers here. I haven't I haven't made any yet, but I'll probably make them in the future. Good amount of anything here. Question. Okay, you need uh rudders. Honestly, we need rudders. How many do I have right now? I don't even know. I have okay, I have five right now, and I can make I don't know how many this is. I can make like fourteen more. Um Honestly, just keep spamming PR because how, how gear researchers work in PR is that um, doing shorter and longer ones doesn't really matter too much. Um, if you do longer ones, you get more opportunities for the most part, except the free ones. The free ones suck. Um, but like if you're comparing like a one hour queue versus a four hour queue, it's about the same. It's just the four hour one has more opportunities to proc um, um, gears in the segment. Like it, it's hard for me to explain. Basically, you have a gear research, and there's like there's like panels on them, right? The first gold panel is like the PR gear you're gonna roll or whatever. Basically, if or that's a chance to roll. So the longer ones have more chances to roll on that table, is or like f to chance to. It has a bigger chance to roll trying to get the gold gear in that particular quarter versus like a one hour one so doing like a short versus a long one doesn't really matter too much i specifically do short ones though because if i do short ones there's more chance to proc uh qul turbo which is a 30 minute one and those are 30 minutes to get a lot a lot of prints that's why i do short ones otherwise it doesn't really matter you can pick long one or short one i feel like it's about the same and i'm pretty right about that so um I personally just do the short ones though, but if you want to do the long ones, go for it. In a scenario where you see like a one hour, two hour, four hours, I sp I personally go for a one hour one, but you can pick whatever. I don't think it matters too much. Um, but if you want to get gear for re uh, PR, just take it and then just avoid the free ones. Q is probably the highest priority. And then if Q is not there, do like G, um, do D, but don't do the free ones because it takes so long for those to get done. So yeah, just just keep spamming re uh, Qs. Qs are like the best way to get um, gear. So I I advise that. E's as well. E's is like the uh, th um, salvage like fifteen eight gear whatever. Those are like two hours long, but those are probably like second best. So go for those as well. If you don't see any Qs at least. Um, 
gold farkin trade-offs right here those can be worked on but i think you're already focusing on that or hopefully you're focusing on that a lot of stag bofers here neptune gun everything looks good here so far Nothing too lacking. Usually when you see a lack of gear somewhere, like uh, gold fire control radars, it's because they haven't done much PR3 yet. So in this case, I assume there's not many AP MK6s if I can find any. I don't think I can find any, but let's keep looking. Yeah, I don't see any AP MK6s. So I don't think you start on PR3 yet. We'll find out when I scroll down further. Um, but PR3 though has probably the second best AP gun as of right now. Somewhere here. Or, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll see any. I'm blind. Good, I'm not blind. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not blind this time. All right, let's go down. Scroll, scroll down. Purple gear, purple gear. There's like not homing beacons probably, but you have a lot of those already. So, and a pair of toolkits. So we're good there. Blue gears, whatever. Ignore those. Wow, that's a lot. Whew. Okay. Anyways, how's everyone's day? All right, twelve is done. I think you're on. Are you on thirteen right now? Wait, you're working on Chokai. I would have moved on to chapter 13 if Choke had dropped. Luckily for you, I think full autoing 12-4 right now is like the best thing to do. And then you can go farm oil or whatever or wait with double efficiency. It is probably the best way to get it. Now, PR1 is done. Uh, sorry, ruined back when the experiments revolving around the selection. Yep, I remember those days. Those were some those were some fun days, guys. <laughs> back when PR1 was like, it wasn't as bad as, a, it wasn't bad grind, but it was like, it was pretty annoying for some part because it was like, for Rune, you had like what? The K sisters and like some purple ships that were gated or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but PR1 looks to be done basically. Face in Fires is optional. You can do it if you want to. PR2 is done. Saw this coming. For St. Louis went to Eagle Union. And then fourth ship was Gasco. Nice. Both finished 2019. Nice. Uh, PR2 focus. Wait, what? Oh, you're working on this as of right now. I thought, oh, I thought PR2 was done. Well, Ozuma, you can finish her. Um, you see, this, okay, unless you're a player that really wants to, like, get one shift to, like, developer 30, this is why I tell you guys to, like, ho try to hold off on UR prints until, like, the very, very last moment. Now, I'm not telling this, how, I'm not telling this player how to play specifically, but if you were to hold on to your universal UR prints as long as possible, and then you can cap both Ozima and FDG at the same time. Most likely, if you do that, you're done with PR2 for for that whole season. You can move on to something else. But if you're going to funnel into one ship, you, you better like them a lot for whatever reason. But by doing so, you're going to make it so it's longer to finish the, the season altogether. Because let's say, um, so as of right now, Ozima is probably like four. I'm going to say if you're fast, like probably two and a half, three months to finish Ozima. Within those two and a half to three months, you're probably going to have like a hundred prints left over for FDG. And those get wasted. You see what I mean? So that's why I say hold on to universal prints so you can cap both of them at the same time. Otherwise, you're going to have to be overcapped on FDG. And those prints could have gone to Azuma, which you would have needed a lot more. Alright, so that's PR2. PR3, we're getting there. Well, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think there's a lot of big splits though, but I think I think using your universals on wait, did they say you're using your universals on PR2 right now? Um currently research our PR2 focus. I don't think it says what you're using universal prints on. It was really easy to do now. I'll finish it. I had how much time to finish it. PR2 took three months, give it a sake. Campaign nine. Yeah. P honestly after they made like the vanguard back line that was easy but the grind and all things e is like the e is the grind is the easy part it's the developer part that takes like a quite some time quite some time so there's room for improvement here you could probably finish by i don't know given that your pace it depends on how fast you go honestly if you don't care too much about developer 30 then it's not an issue um but there's there's still gonna be some time uh if you are committed though you can probably finish by the time probably midway pr4 but we'll, hey, if you don't want to play that way i'm not going to force anyone to play the way they want to particularly play uh i would never have plus 13 12 gear until i'm satisfied uh yep pretty much don't be like me though because i uh i plus 12 my 457 because of uh my last video and um uh, yeah um was that regrets probably not but that was that was like out of the moment. Um, I'm gonna rage and upgrade my uh, <laughs> and upgrade my 457. It costs a lot of gold plates. Um, not proud about that, but it is what it is. It is what it is. The conservative cubes, same. 
Honestly, if you're an endgame player, though, like, cubes are not scarce. It's not scarcity of a resource. It's coins. So, when you hit that point in the game where coins is, like, is more needed than everything else, then you're pretty much an endgame player. Duh, 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 duh. All right, general stuff right here. What we got? Place looking good. General place is, whew. <laughs> but place looking good. Um, that's a lot of dorm food. I need some dorm food right now. Someone please give me their dorm food, I beg of you. It will help out a lot. Purple year all over the place. A lot, of, a lot of good quantity as well. So that's a lot of grinding. That's how you know um, a player has a lot of grinds when they have like, is when the uh, the max caps or whatever is like pretty. It's a is like a lot like 800, 700. That's pretty sizable right there for end game players. Uh, nine six and nine four. Two more levels on Royal Navy. That can be finished easy. Royal Navy is not hard to get to max anymore. Uh, I believe her is done by now. Assuming this player kept up with it, and I think they did. This is a pain. Um, now you're good. Currently grinding uh, Azuma Key Vestal. All right, I would definitely fill up these next two slots though. But I think you're. Uh, I think you know that. But yes, work on submarines. Fill up these two slots. Never keep any slot open in dorm because that's wasting exp. Even if you get less ships for the single ships or whatever, overall you get way more EXP. Fill up every single dorm slot that you have available. Just don't leave any uh, don't leave any uh unopened, if that makes any sense. Um, start with Richard Lee is a very very good ship. What other ships do you recommend for Richard Lee? Basically, all the Richard Lee, uh, not the Richard Lee, all the French ships are pretty good. The SSR ones at least. There's probably some good purple ones, but I didn't look into them. But all the French SSR ships. Except maybe Gas Cone. Gas Cone's like debatable if she's good or not, but everyone else though is good. Like uh, Champagne, Gian, JB, St. Louis, Algeri, or Allergies. All of them are good. So that's good. As of right now, 98.4 would have been 99, but yeah. Missing missing gacha ships. Unless you really, really care about it, it does hurt. Or unless you don't really care about it, it hurts a lot for collections, so. It is what it is. Um, update. I think this is. Uh, let me see real quick. <clears throat> Whoa! What the? F Whew. Don't do that. All right, here's the updated one. Um, so we got more ships. One twenty on Azuma Elf. One twenty on London. One twenty on How. I see HMS is being being worked on as of right now very very nice so i'm not going to talk about the level of ships that much though but good progression good progression all together um two more hellcats two more hell divers and we're finally working on th world 13 nice good stuff azuma is 24 now a little bit way past the halfway point so you're about like maybe three and a half months left cheshire is 25 drake is nine good there so far i've been playing catch up listen you got this, dude. You got this. Everything else, uh, Chaco stuff, and we're all good to go. All right. Wait, you're working on a second copy right now? Well, Drake's gun is Drake's gun is good to make if you want to use Drake. Because if you make this gun for like everyone else, it's like kind of whatever. But for Drake, though, it's like a really, really, really good gun. But how long will it take to get a triple to... Is that, is that Drake's gun? It might be Drake's gun. Um, hmm, I think. Let me see. I can look it up real quick. It might be Drake's gun, though. <laughs> uh, one second. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. I think it's Drake's gun, though. But let me double check. Okay, yeah, it is Drake's gun. So... My rule of thumb, if you're a very dedicated player in terms of like you log in, you do your stuff, you're on top of everything, like you're you're on it, like you're on it, right? It takes five months to get 50 prints. Yes, it sounds kind of weird, I know. Like, oh my god, Kimo, that's a lie. I've been playing for like a year now, I'm only at 20 prints. You're not you're not keeping up with it enough. I'm I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be honest with you, you're not keeping it up with enough. You can honestly get a UR gun done with, within five months, give or take, if you're on top of it. And you know exactly what missions to do. Five months is all it takes. So, for example, let's take what you have right here. You have 9 out of 50. You can finish this in probably four and a half months. 
I'm not even kidding you. If you're on top of your missions, you're doing PR3 focused, and you know how to pick the right missions, four and a half months is all you need to finish this gun. Max. Probably a little bit more if you're unlucky, but four and a half months is all it takes. Um, question. What's the question? I see questions. Oh, questions like uh, between these things. Okay. Uh, what are odds of getting 70,000 points? You can get 70,000 points. Everyone gets 70,000 points. If you've done it every single day, then you can get 70,000 points. I'm probably slacking, though. I don't know if I'm getting 70,000 points, honestly. I've been slacking, but it's going <laughs> to... I'm lazy. I'm not even going to kid you guys. I'm lazy. I was going to get Alabama because I, uh, because I thought I was done with the Ash. Oh, <laughs> feels bad, dude. Feels bad. It's okay. They'll get a rerun someday. Not not right now though. But hey, I'm not, that's what, we're, we're we're like 19, 19 months of waiting now. Probably more. Probably twenty months actually. Twenty months of uh, no Ashton rerun. Interesting, interesting choice there. Uh, Manju. Finally got Chokai. Nice. Uh, I'm unlucky with daily pulls. Listen, you're gonna have to be committed, dude. Start dumping those pulls then. Don't miss on another gacha ship. And let's see here. Says you like my cats. Wait, uh, since you like cats. I mean, I don't like cats. I mean, it, cats are interesting, but it's like, I'm not like, I mean, I know a lot about them, but I don't know. Hey, cats are interesting, but I like, oh, oh, fuck it. I'll just go with the cat guru shit. Um, you're going to have to show some stats. You're going to have to show the talents, man. The thing about cats is getting an SSR cats is nice and all but like you said right here my my cats are nothing special to be honest getting ssr cats is not hard like getting a pound is not hard getting a bishimar is not hard getting a perfect base getting a good base cat is the hard part so uh there is that and then we have the statistics here and nice everything looks good to be for an end game player very very good sounds about right to me now out curiosity, does the AUID uh, mean anything? Nope, it's just how people find you, so it doesn't matter. No, no, no. It, it doesn't tell you anything. Um, it's just random number generated. They give you random code and you just go with it. So is uh, that's what it is. Below is my account in 2018. Uh, before, since you're uh, so I saw it fitting. Wait. Oh, this is like way back, right? Okay. It should be also my event that supports in my scope on a journey. And then. Now, do you want to use it before? Wait, before or after Pearl Harbor? I don't know about that one, man. I don't think, I think that's. Because <laughs> after Pearl Harbor is like. I don't know. It can be taken any. It can be taken however you guys want. Take it for what it is. So, cause like, if you read really like Pearl Harbor, like Pearl Harbor was like a bad thing. So after Pearl Harbor, like, would that still be a good thing, right? So, um, interesting here. So it goes here. HMS ships. Yes, work on HMS. I work on friendships. Right now, I'm not gonna tell you how specifically because you have goals right now. What to do? Um, just keep playing though. Increase stock size if you want. But hey. As of right now, from what I've seen, you have a lot of goals. You know how to play the game. There's no one's gonna push you on how fast you should play the game. So, um, good. Don't let anyone tell you how to play the game. Uh, if you want advice, you can ask for them. But if someone tells you like, "Oh, you should play the game this way," no. You have a lot of goals in mind. Good progression. Good to see from a uh, a player that's been playing for a long time. This is exactly how I want to see. So, people should be playing their way. Nothing to it. Very good account. Uh, no questions from this person except the about rudders or whatever, or like the ones I've answered already in the in the uh, video. Very solid video. Basically storytelling right there. I don't have to like talk too much about random stuff in mumbo jumbo. Very straightforward. Led me through the whole vi uh, video conversation as if he was there. Very very easy video. Excellent account. That is the account review for this um, time around, guys. Different format, different system, whatever. Storytelling time. Excellent. Anyways, uh, that's the end of this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I guess. I don't know.